far as teaching the pups to lead, uh, the vision you saw out there before was a five month old pup. We start at three months when I bring them out and we'll run them in the runs, let them free gallop and I'll just put a lead and a collar on one when there's three or four running around, lead him around a bit just to get him used to, I don't want them upset so get them used to leading and still keep them friendly with me and then as I say they're going out three times a week so just we might put a lead on one uh, each week, a different pup and just lead it around and once they're right uh, by the time they get to five, six months well you haven't got to lead them as often but I do leave the collars on them so that I can grab them by the collar and they know that they're not in trouble or anything like that just pat them and do what you like with them. Take us through the bull ring process Barry, yep. what age do you start and yep. what's the reason behind it? Well the bull ring process Andrew is, I've always been a believer that dogs have got to be very hard chasers so I guess three years ago, around about three years ago we went into the squeakers and put squeakers on the bull ring when they're three months of age because as you saw the pups out there today they had a squeaker and they love it, it's, they challenge it, it's just uh, the way they go so at three months of age we'll take, take them out on the bull ring uh, with the squeaker on it and get them used to the noise because they have to be used to the noise on the track and they have to chase hard. So at three months if you take them in there and they'll grab the squeaker I'm wrapped and then after that they might only get it oh, once every month or two months and then as they get older you saw some six months old pups there chasing the bull ring and grabbing the squeaker and from now on they might mightn't get any of that until about nine ten months of age because you don't want too much of it but you want them really keen chasers so and you want them relating that noise of the bull ring to the lure going around the track uh, so it's purely a confidence thing so they know what's yep. going on when they get to the racetrack is yeah. that right Yes, yeah, it is a confidence thing, Andrew. Uh, when they know, when they get to the racetrack, they hear that noise and they want to go. And that's what it's all about. Uh, you have to have them ready to go when they go to the breakers. And it's a game to them? They enjoy it? Oh, they love it. They love it. They, you put the squeaker out there with those pups and they'll rip it to pieces just playing, you know. And there is a wire on that little uh, puppy yard where the litter of ten is that I can tie a squeaker on there when they're six weeks old just with a rope and they'll pull it up and down the wire the length of the yard and just drag it and scruff it and, and that teaches them to grab that squeaker. So Barry, pups that aren't exposed to this sort of uh, mm. game gamesmanship, I guess? Yep. There's, there would be some concerns when it comes to breaking in time for them, what would that be? It is very, very hard to break them in. Some will go, but uh, talking to Steve Elsom, who breaks dogs in for me, and they get so frustrated with pups that come there at 12, 14 months of age, they haven't been taught to lead, and they've got to teach them to lead, and then when they run the law around, they're scared stiff. They don't know what that noise is, so I think we're at a bit of advantage doing what I'm doing. It's only my theory and that's the way I do it and we've had a lot of luck doing it that way. <laughs>